It's looking good. I just wanted to uh, give everybody some updates on, on some things we got going on. What's in the qualification process now is that there will be five scores counted for the second season. I'm assuming if that's the case, they're going to end up keeping those first scores, right? Like how many scores are counting now? How many contests are there going to be next year? Or do we not even know any of that? I highly doubt there will be five events before Tokyo. My guess is we'll have at least a national championship and I'm speculating that they're doing everything they can to figure out world champs. I'm expecting the world championships will be in June next year. Crazy. I hope you guys are looking forward to Tokyo 2021. We are, we're having so much fun in quarantine. We're absolutely having fun in innovative ways. The first Olympics for skateboarding is gonna be rough. Nobody really knows what's going on, so we're all in this together, because I don't even know what's going on. We are still working through the process of if anything will change in particular with relation to the team. As we move into 2021, you could see some new team riders on the national team before the Olympics in Tokyo. So the team isn't gonna stay the same going into 2021? huge opportunity. We basically get to be the role models for women, especially in skateboarding, because it is a male-dominated sport. There we go, there we go. That's good. I like seeing girls skate, you know, like yeah. girls have their own style and like we're all progressing and we're kind of pushing each other to yeah. get better. I'm just excited that skateboarding is getting recognized now for the Olympics at the right time that women are getting appreciated. Yeah, in skateboarding. I'm super pumped for Samaria. I've been watching Samaria for so long. Like, I remember one of the first videos I ever saw of her. She's only gotten so much better. She's so I remember, chill, though, too. Yeah. Just like, even her so is just nice. a person. So nice. So, yeah. so sweet, so humble. Yeah. yeah. So if she came through with that Olympic gold medal, I think that would be the craziest. Which yeah, she's more than capable of getting. Oh, 100%. 100%. I would come skate these little bumps right here. Skate off that curb. There's like a little crack right there. Try to gap over the crack to the to flat. Lived in a bunch of different units that are here from like, I'd say like one to 18. Yeah. This is the first skate park I ever came to. I had rollerblades the first time I came. And then Bobby Bonds opened and I spent like four years. It was like 2017, I officially got on Enjoy. From that point on, I was just skating and then the Olympics got announced and I was already doing contests. So I did pretty well in the national contest. And then from then on, it just kind of happened. All of a sudden I was on the team. <laughs> so I'm cheering for, for all of us. Those are like my best friends. It's Milana, Mariah, Alexis, Team USA. Let's just podium. Let's top, top three, <laughs> whatever. When I think of Alexis, I just think like full committed, doesn't matter if you get thrashed or not. When the moment comes, it's gonna full on commit. I've been skating for, I think, yeah, for 23 years. Growing up skating, it was just a really different time, mid 90s, like a small town on the East Coast. So it was just different, like looking at magazines and pausing videos, trying to figure out what was going on. I wouldn't really trade that for anything. My goals with skateboarding, I feel like there's skateboarding and I want to skateboard as long as I can and then it's just been so many different things for me. Like at one point I was doing contests, like put myself through school and, and now suddenly I'm like doing all this Olympic stuff and it's just like a lot of things at once and kind of overwhelming but I guess really I'm trying to like get through this year and just do the best I can and then after that just go back to like normal skating and just skateboarding, just keep doing it and not be too hard on myself.
My name is Mimi Noop and I am the High Performance Director and Women's Team Manager for USA Skateboarding. I'm basically just in charge of kind of being a supportive arm to the women's national team. And right now, Mariah Duran is ranked number one in the U.S. Mariah has performed the best at all the qualifier events. When I was first added to the national team, that moment was crazy for me because I would have never thought I was like a candidate for it, you know, coming from like New Mexico or something like that. And being able to possibly represent your country is insane. I think it's, it's, a, it's a huge opportunity. It's monumental because we, we basically got to see the people like Mimi and we just now get to be that next generation and to keep breaking those boundaries so that it is possible for girls to start skating and women to skate. I think we're just like a visualization of like what could be. We're here to show what is possible and we're here to just grow and help the other generations grow and just see where that takes us. When I was younger I stopped skating because I didn't feel like I had a place in skateboarding and I didn't have a lot of women to look up to in skateboarding. Now, women's skateboarding has blown up so much and there's so many incredible athletes and like, it is so amazing to be a part of. Like, I feel honored as fuck. Basically, it's been so rewarding. Those girls are like family. They really take care of each other and they care to see each other succeed and lead the way for women's skateboarding to just like skyrocket. It's going to be on such a platform that like so many people are going to see it and I think it's definitely going to inspire a lot of young kids to want to get out there and do it and they're like, that looks like fun, like I want to do that. I always kind of wanted to be like pro and stuff since I was little, like I'd always talk about it and when I found out that there was going to be an Olympic team, I was just working as hard as I can, I was like, I want to be on the team, I want to be on the team. And then the day when they actually announced it, I was like super excited and like my mom was super, super proud. I know like they've talked about the team changing. I personally don't want it to change because <laughs> like a lot of us didn't get to do a whole lot this year. It would kind of suck if they changed it right before. I got into skating firstly when my dad literally one day he was like, I'm going to go skate in a pool. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? You can't skate on water. I was only about six years old and he's like, no, you can skate in a pool. And I was like, what? And I ended up stepping on a board for one of the first times ever and I was thinking it was like being in this whole other dimension so I was pretty you know uptaken by it it was insane when I was growing up there was a little less population of girls and there was more guys and I made friends with so many guys and then one day so many girls started kind of fleeing into skating I was like whoa this is so cool so we all started skating together and one of the girls, Brighton, we would skate all the time actually. Um, it was it was super fun. I don't even know, like I'm contest skating just because I kind of just was thrown into it and I like got used to it and adapted to it. And there's so much good support too with like Team USA and we're kind of on this journey and I'm just happy where I am with skating because every time I skate, like even though I am like a kid, like it just makes me feel like a child. No. I grew up in the North Shore of Oahu and kind of just surfed my whole life and then picked up skating when I was about 11. A bunch of my buddies from school one day wanted to go check out the new skate park and uh, I just went with them and right away I loved it. It was just a super cool park and just immediately loved skating. I never like thought anything about being the only girl. I, I don't even think I really noticed it when I was younger. Like I just was like, oh, I'm skating, like, you know, and these are the people who I'm skating with. and. Um, but a few years went by and people were like, wait, you're like the only girl, like that's weird, like that's crazy, whatever. It kind of went to my eyes and I was like, oh, that is kind of crazy, like more girls should be doing this, it's fun, you know? I think when little girls see other girls they can relate to ride a skateboard, then they realize, oh, well, I can do that too, or that's, that's for me. I'm excited for what it's gonna do after it's all done. For the women who have put so much time in these contests, I really hope that some big sponsorships come to them. Just more avenues for women to ha be able to skate and do what they love and, yeah. and, and keep the process going. Which is know? what we all want. <laughs> so we're working on updating the athlete selection criteria for the 2021 team. We should be able to give you guys an update sometime in November. What's in the qualification process now is that there will be five scores counted for the second season. I highly doubt there will be five events 
before Tokyo. I'm assuming if that's the case, they're gonna end up keeping those first fours, right? My guess is we'll have at least a national championship. I'm expecting the world championships will be in June next year. Crazy.